All right, I want to talk about this play. I want to talk through it. And Giants were overmatched talent wise and coaching staff, like coaching wise. I had no really issues with what happened on Thursday night. This was the one thing, though, that I just can't wrap my head around how you got into where you thought that this was a good way to run this. So, this is the sack, obviously, that got them almost a safety down at the one yard line. First and 10. And Nick Bosa obviously comes unblocked, right? And the contention was like, oh, you can't put Bell, you can't put a tight end on Nick Bosa, which I somewhat would agree with, but I think the Giants actually planned well because they had Shep as a little outlet here in the flat to where if Bellinger did a bad job blocking. But here's the thing. I don't care if you put Trent Williams out here. This is an impossible ask with where he's aligned. This is an impossible ask to where he's aligned to make this block because the run action is this way, which means Bosa at worst is going to chase it off the hip of Evan Neal and then go towards the quarterback. But... After seeing what Dallas, the success Dallas was able to have, like they know they can get these sack plays off of the play action that the Giants love to run out of this, especially when they get under center. So this is just an impossible ask. And even then, it's a tough ask out of Bellinger anyways against Nick Bosa. I mean, you look here in the Dallas game, like he gets beat by Demarcus Lawrence. Now where I think the Giants did a good job changing it was because there's no outlet here. Well, you gave it on the versus the 49ers, you have Shep coming across as the outlet right here. But I don't know if this is where, like, Bellinger just lined up wrong, but part of me thinks he lined up where they told him because they're on the left hash and they might have told him, hey, a line on the outside of the right hash. And to me, that's just, that's unwinnable. That's unwinnable. If you line him down here, all you need is, like you said, all you need to do is just pin him down for a second or so and give time for DJ to get outside the pocket or just get this ball off to Shep. And our, our boy Alex Bachman pointed out too, Bellinger's feet should be left foot back, right foot, uh, right foot front as it's easier to get down on this anyways. But to me, that's just, I don't know what happened. If Bellinger lined up wrong or if that's the way they truly had them line up because that's just an, you, you can't ask anybody to make that block.